Hello. Why are you crying? Because you are friends with Uncle Bob, but Uncle Bob is a racist. How is he a racist? Because you tweeted a quote from Trump one time. Here, I will show you. You can take that cancel culture mentality and shove it up your ass. Slash his throat! Every f***ing Republican! Suck my f***ing balls! What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from the Corning, and an epic win for uh, haters of the cancel culture and an embarrassing L handed uh, to some pro cancel culture losers in the Factorio fan base. If you're not familiar with Factorio, it's a widely popular video game um, that is um, rapidly climbing the charts of games that I think we'll need to support as attempts to cancel Factorio developer, in fact, the creator of Factorio, epically backfire, players and positive reviews end up swelling. Attempts to quote cancel the developer, this is via Niche Gamer, cancel developer of Factorio have backfired, resulting in more players and a flood of positive reviews. On June 18th, <coughs> Kovarex, or Kovarex, the Factorio founder, posted the 366th Friday Facts developer blog post. Along with discussing development on the game's updates, he recommended Uncle Bob, Robert Cecil Martin, and his lectures on programming and project management. However, some took issue with the recommendation. Previously, some had taken issue with the Manifesto for Agile Software Development and its principles being too focused on management rather than coding, and alleged spicy comments made at a keynote speech in 2019. One user on the Factorial subreddit warned Kovarex about recommending Uncle Bob. I know, I know, politics and gaming don't mix well, D40B explained, but promoting a controversial person without any reservations is a political act. So it might be worth considering to add a disclaimer. His actions and words have hurt a lot of typically underrepresented people, and I'd personally prefer to avoid more people getting hurt by promoting him. Kovarex's reply was succinct, a succinct refusal. Quote, take the cancel culture mentality and shove it up your rear. And that is an actual, yes, that actually was said by the developer. You can see the exchange right here. Kovarex, take the cancel culture mentality and shove it up your rear. That's a pretty disappointing response. It's fine to disagree, but I thought as the founder of Factorio, you would have had more tact than that. Uncle Bob is a piece of garbage and a bigot. I always have big respect for your development team, but now you can shove it up your rear. To which he responded epically. I won't even search him up. You know why? Because I don't care at all. If he care, I don't care if he cheats on his wife, is a bigot, or pays proper tips in a restaurant. These things are simply not relevant. If Stalin had a good write-up on programming, would linking that be dangerous because some people might read it, start liking him, and thus liking communism? Ooh, shot at communism. And the inevitable mass ending of people that follows? Oh, based. Oh, no. Is this how little we trust other individuals when it comes to access to information? I personally trust my readers to have the ability to create their own opinions instead of blindly following whatever the person they like says. Of course, he goes, 
of course, the commies start to see Venezuelan iPhone 6 bajillion. It's not even relevant to the point. You literally just force an attack on communism. <laughs> Good. 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 I mean, if you look at... If I look at... I want to pull up their reviews on Steam. Let's see here. Overwhelmingly positive... 95,000 overwhelming positive. So if we look at, we have what they what you would call a positive review brigade. Factorio was getting 30 to 40 positive reviews every single day, right? After this statement, 366 positive reviews to a whole 58 negative. Then the next day, 941 positive reviews to a wimpy 30 negative. Following day, 359 positive reviews to 14 negative. Now, a lot of people had come into these comments saying, you know, that there's a lot, so many people in the community are, oh man, so many in your user group, overwhelmingly in your user group are just so offended and sad. Yet, here we go, nothing but positive reviews. It's so disheartening to see a game I love made such by such a competent and friendly creators from the Czech Republic, a fresh perspective on an industry dominated by American culture, dragged into American politics, and that shocking absence of good faith on charity in display when Americans attempt to go after foreigners. Oh no, oh no, I 100% support them, and I'm going to pay, how much is it? I'm going to buy it. By the way, the game has a 91% score on Metacritic. Demo by Factorio, 30 bucks, done. Oh, I'll do it from Steam. I shall purchase your game in support. So, Kovarex resp responded, and then, of course, of course, then, before being locked, Kovarex defended himself, accusing others of labeling him as a right-wing bigot and others acting hysterical. Why am I a right-wing bigot? I hear it again and again, and yet... I didn't hear any reason for that claim. This clearly shows the weird one-dimensional world you see. Everyone is either a friend or an enemy, and we need to decide fast. All I did was to deny bashing on someone's professional work for his political views. By the way, that's a totally fine take. It didn't. I didn't even know what they were. And somehow you had to put me on your political axis somewhere. And since your political axis is so full of hate... You assume that I hate you or LGBT plus people or whatever you don't like about the other side of your axis. You have to understand that I'm not from the United States and I'm nowhere on your little axis. I'm not a friend or an enemy. I'm just a guy who would like to decouple ideas from people. What a bold, what a bold thing to do, right? I mean, what, what I mean, sorry, what a terrible thing to do. Just, just so evil. Uh, the idea that you could separate art from the artist, it's really a difficult thing for a lot of people. And look, I 100% uh, admit that it can be hard for me at times too, especially with you know Disney and, and Disney attached to so many IPs that I really, really like. You know, I mean, heck, The Mandalorian completely restored my faith in what Disney would be able to do with Star Wars going forward. And then they had to totally screw it up by firing Gina Carano over some stupid tweets while allowing um, Pedro Pascal to make the exact same comparisons and not firing him. Some had drawn attention, sorry, some had drawn attention to this drama, which it spilled in the game's Steam community forums. The main dev is phobic. Plus, more got canceled. Don't buy the game anymore, one user implored. The dev is problematic, and you shouldn't buy the game. Steam users seem to mock the post, some saying that they would buy the game specifically because it angered the poster. Those who felt Kovarek should be canceled for his opinion and supporting him by standing his ground, or supporting him. Users may also be opposed to cancel culture in general, uh, rendering someone unable to work and fear persecution, blah, blah, blah. The failed attempt to generate controversy have, may have also seen an uptick in popularity at the time of this and the recording of Steve B. The game is 63rd most played game on Steam. 95% of the reviews in the last 30 days have been overwhelmingly positive, with 1,200 of them coming since the June 18th post. 
how much the attempt to cancel Coverix has actually boosted sales will be unknown for a while, but the developers seem to be taking it in stride. The game's official Twitter account replied to one of the users who drew attention to the controversy, stating, I'm really happy for the free ads we are getting. Thank you for this. This only seemed to frustrate the user. This was one of the best part. So you have the actual, you see this person just really upset that they couldn't cancel them. Here you have Kovarex is digging himself so deep. Factorial game will become a 3D game. To which Factorial literally replies, I'm really happy for the free ads we are getting. Thank you for that. I mean, absolutely based. I, I, I mean, like, I don't know what else to tell you. I mean, it, 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 this is... This is legendary dev right here. King stuff. Freaking legend. Um, you know, base Factorio. Real people. Real people. are Chad is F. We're, you know, all these people are 100 dangerously based. And they don't stop coming. All the positive reviews based. I will now buy the game. Whether or not this person had problematic views that this guy posted is irrelevant him saying it was irrelevant is also true if the development work that that guy had done was good and solid work it's like uh let's say a builder a, a, you have a brick worker doing some landscaping work around your house you find out later that they're a huge bernie bro and it bothers you does it matter is their work satisfactory or not yeah, and, and that should be the only thing. It's such a small percentage of losers that live their life like this who are, you know, obsessed with political ideology. I mean, this is an epic fail on uh, cancel culture. And, and just, I mean, you think... You think that that you think that that's working for you? Did you see... Did you see... And I'll wear your mask. Well, co what a coincidence. People like you have me ashamed of being a game dev... Wow, 11 likes, sick burn, bro. Oh, totally canceled. Yeah, I don't think Coverex is just the best. Imagine a, a company not in the United States giving two rips about what your United States-centric politics are. And I'm glad to see that all around the world, we can seemingly agree that council culture is garbage. So good on you, Factorio. I'm going to buy your game. I'm told that I will now have to surrender days of my life to this game, I'm willing to give it a try. If what people say is true, then I don't know when you'll see me back, but I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you enjoy my coverage, I do five to six videos a day on this channel, plus two to three on my other channel. There's a red subscribe button down in the lower right. Please do consider clicking it. It'll be the only way you find my videos. I greatly appreciate all of your support and we'll talk to you again real soon.